I think when it comes to deploying IoT technologies, so basically better understand the requirements first, the customer requirements first. Once you understand the customer requirements, so don't overdo it, because IoT, there's a probability of overdoing is more than the probability of you know, underdoing it. Because people are talking about security, you know, you know, privacy and all those things. So, so go according to the customer requirements. Tailor make your application according to the customer requirements so that it will be cost effective and also it will be deployable, it will be replicable. We're likely to see, uh, we're likely to see dominated by uh, larger tech firms that have an advantage. Uh, advantage here, they're more likely to be able to um, uh, address the scaling problem and the, and and solve that. Um, so I think that they, that puts them in a good position. I think for smaller tech companies, I think there's always um, a role they can play. I, I think going for the kind of monolithic. Um, approach from a single vendor, I don't think that's going to be how we're going to see IoT play out because it is you know, ultimately the internet of things and if we want that internet level of interoperability we're going to have to have uh, multiple stakeholders, multiple vendors um, and using kind of those open standards. So I think there will be a role for smaller companies providing technology that kind of fits into that mold. So if you're looking to deploy IoT now, I think the key point I'd make is it's still a bit uncertain as to exactly what the connectivity solutions are going to be, quite what the end devices are going to look like, how the data is going to be handled, whether they're going to have IP to the edge or not. So be flexible. Don't try and deploy the cheapest possible module. Try, take one which has got multiple different technologies on it, which has got a fair amount of spare memory, where you can software upgrade the system, and be prepared to, for things to change over the next few years. Because until we get to a point of certainty, betting on one very specific outcome is a risky thing to do. So my top tip is, you know, find a good trusted vendor and go through a good filtering process, right? And by that, what I mean is you have to make sure that your vendor is going to be around for a long time, right? You're going to find plenty of choice in the upcoming years, right? But how do you know that one vendor is going to be around for, for many years to come versus just folding, right? And then how do you ensure that they, there's a high quality system, right? Especially since on paper, they're both going to look pretty much the same. Uh, my very last thing over there is in that support, in that vendor category, you're going to need a supported solution. So once again, in that filtering process, you have to figure out what your vendor's practices are, right? How often are they going to update their product? Uh, you know, what are they updating? Are they adding features? Are they fixing security flaws? So we are living in this day and age, right, where security is just such a big thing. And once again, having that trusted vendor and a vendor that is constantly updating their products, I think, becomes important. IoT generates lots of data, but this is an additional data for most of the organizations. The top tip for this would be to say that how can IoT actually bring business value? That business value will only generate interest in your client if they can actually see that something is going to affect their top line or the bottom line. Finding your keys, your lost keys, is great if you can actually sell it to millions of people. But in the corporate world, you have to show that it's actually going to save millions of pounds. Without those two, I think IoT is not going to be a great success. If you're talking about those kind of things with big data and fast data, streaming analytics, you have to do something with that to, to make it useful. And the really, the really added value that I see in those kind of data is that you make a prediction based on, for example, pattern recognition or other machine learning algorithms to predict for a customer or for a company or for maybe uh, one, one piece of your organization, one part of your organization, what's up next? Yeah.